What's up guys? Welcome to Chris Zombies. We're going to be covering Rave in the Redwoods DLC 1 for Salvation. What we're going to talk about today is the concept art that came out by Lee Ross. He did tweet this out. I'm going to go through these pictures a little bit. I'd like to know in the comments below who you think these characters are because he didn't give really clear explanations to who is what character. So we're going to go through them individually, but I'm going to show you all four at first. Now do please note that this is official concept art coming from Lee Ross. We have these individual characters that were tweeted out all in one tweet. So these are our new characters, but we have to find out who they are. So we're going to talk about each one individually, and then we're going to get into the juicy stuff. Yeah, that's right, DLC 5. I have concept art that I have created, fan made, and I'm going to be showing you exactly what I think is going to be going down. So the first guy here I think is AJ. I think he's going from sort of a jock to this new look. The other side of it, it is Dexter, Point Dexter, coming from a nerd. To this stud like character, I'm not sure. A few of my buddies thought this guy was gay. I don't really care. You can be gay, that's fine, but the dude might be gay. So, Andre is the next guy. We think this is Andre just by process of elimination. Character off character, this guy's black. The other guy was black Andre, so maybe this is Andre. I'm not sure. This could be Point Dexter as well. Characters seem to be changing with the time frames that we're in. We're now in the 90s. And we're moving forward into this cabin-like thing called Raven the Redwoods. So it's very possible. No racial profiling going on here. Just process of elimination. Next guy we're thinking about is Dexter, kind of the raver. This also could be AJ. So we have to think one or the other. We're going to know soon because we're going to have a trailer coming up. And I'm sure maybe either that's an intro cutscene or it's an actual just trailer for salvation that we're going to get for Raven the Redwoods. Either way, I'll have you covered on this channel, but we're just taking a look at the concept art. This guy's kind of wicked, right? Way different than what we're used to. So, these guys were definitely here to party, and I'm not sure, maybe have sex. Big orgy. I don't know what was going on, what was planned, but we're going to find out this Easter egg nonetheless. We got the chick, and that her name is Sally in Zombies in Spaceland, so obviously she is now gangster-like. So she's a gangster chick, maybe she owns a mafia. I'm not sure. You guys let me know in the comments below. For some reason, when I think of a strong black woman that's kind of thug looking, I think she's powerful. So, this lady may in fact be a drug lord, kingpin. I'm not sure. She's here at this rave party. Maybe she's doing some dirt. Maybe she's selling some drugs. Either way, who am I to judge, right? It's a rave party. We're all here to party and have fun. I'm excited to see what this map's going to bring to the table. The slasher, apparently through the tweets of Lee Ross, is going to be a boss zombie. In fact, he's not going to be like Leroy from Buried and be a crawler holder. I was hoping for that, but I don't think so. With the decline of everything happening in Infinite Warfare, the new supply drops that are happening, here it is, fellas. This is my own concept art for Resurrection 2.0. I believe the cycle does need to be broken, and I hope you guys do enjoy this image. It took, it took me a long time to make this. We're starting on the way left with Origins, Moon, Mob of the Dead, Transit, the entire T of Transit between Green Run, Farm, Town, Grief Mode, all of that is going to be remastered. Verructa as well. And this is my own concept art, so do not take this lightly. This may in fact be something that we're going to be seeing. I'm very pumped, pumped enough to make this own little picture here, so I hope you guys like it. And you might ask yourself, well, if I'm a supporter of Infinite Warfare, then how can this game be failing? There's a much larger group of people out there not supporting it, so they're not getting the daily amount of money coming in from their supply drops, leaving a decline in sales altogether from the flow of money coming in daily, not the initial purchase of the game. They were very successful at that. A lot of people did buy Infinite Warfare, but the money coming in is not rolling as high as they want. So the next option is to actually create DLC 5 for the most successful game in their franchise, Black Ops 3. But let's believe it. Black, Black Ops 3 was a huge success. Huge success. They made the most money of all time, and it was, blew it out of the park. So going back to that could only be good, right? There's plenty to tell in the zombie storyline, and that's why I think there's a lot more to come when it comes to Black Ops 3. The one last thing I'm going to touch on was that there was a lot of success with Black Ops 3. Where that happens, people get promoted, things start to change. Things that maybe you're aware of, maybe you're not aware of. I want to talk about it just a little bit. Mark Lamia is now the chairman. Co-studio heads have been split amongst three different positions. Jason Blundell and Dan Blunting are taking the lead roles as well, for, especially for the promoting part of live streams. You'll be seeing a lot more of them. Jason Blundell, he's our man for zombies, and he has now been promoted. So that means big news, fellas. Big news ahead. Violent out.